Look at the shapes below. Do these shapes have anything in common? In this lesson, you will learn to identify trapezoids and parallelograms by looking at their shared attributes. Let's review. We already know that a quadrilateral has four sides. Let's sort these shapes into two categories. Shapes that are quadrilaterals and shapes that are not quadrilaterals. Which of these shapes on the left have four sides and can stay? This one. Which of these shapes on the right have four sides and need to move to the left? These two. So let's put these shapes in their correct places. Let's draw a line down the center. All the shapes on the left are quadrilaterals. All the shapes on the right are not. We are going to take a close look at two special quadrilaterals. Trapezoids and parallelograms. A common misunderstanding is that trapezoids can only look like the outline of a lampshade. Let's take a look at trapezoids. I'm going to put two types of shapes up. The shapes in the left are all examples of trapezoids. The shapes on the right are not. Let's see if we can find or identify which attributes the shapes have in common so that we can make a rule for trapezoids. I'm going to look at the shapes that are not trapezoids to help me. First, I'm going to look at this shape with a curved bottom. None of the trapezoids have any curved sides, so a trapezoid must be a polygon, a shape with only straight sides. Now, I'm going to look at this shape with an open corner. None of the trapezoids have open corners, so a trapezoid must be a closed shape, which is another attribute or rule for a polygon. On the right, I see this shape with three sides called a triangle. It does not seem that there are any three-sided shapes that are trapezoids. All of the trapezoids have four sides, and I know that four-sided shapes are polygons, called quadrilaterals. So the first part of the rule, trapezoids must be quadrilaterals. Now I have one last shape, and this shape has four straight sides that meet at four corners, which also makes it a quadrilateral but it is not considered a trapezoid. We need to figure out which attribute makes this quadrilateral different from the trapezoids. Let's take a closer look at these shapes. What do all of these shapes have in common? All of these shapes have one pair of parallel sides as an attribute. That means they have at least one pair of sides that are opposite from each other that run in the same direction and are the same distance apart from each other. How do I know if a shape has parallel sides? I pick two sides that are opposite from each other, like this top side and bottom side. If I were to measure the distance between each of these sides with a ruler or with a piece of paper, no matter where I put the ruler or the paper, the two sides would always be the same distance apart. Here's my slip of paper. I will mark the distance between my two opposite sides here and here. No matter where I move my paper, the distance apart stays the same. These opposite sides are the same distance apart. That makes them parallel. What about my right and left sides? Here's my slip of paper again. I'll mark the distance here and here. If I move my paper, I will notice that my line does not match. So, they are not parallel. These opposite sides are not the same distance apart. Let's revisit our groups. We know that trapezoids are quadrilaterals. Does this shape on the right have parallel sides? No, it does not. Now we know trapezoids are quadrilaterals that must have one pair of parallel sides. Take a look at these shapes. What do all of these shapes have in common? If we look at the number of sides, all of these shapes have four sides, which means they are examples of quadrilaterals. What else do we notice? These shapes also have pairs of opposite sides that are the same distance apart. All of these shapes have parallel sides. But look closely, these shapes do not have just one pair of sides that are parallel. They have two. And because these shapes have two pairs of parallel sides, they are called parallelograms. 
In this lesson, you learn to identify trapezoids and parallelograms by looking at their shared attributes. 